So you've heard that Folsom, California is nice, but do you want to know what the average cost of living is here in Folsom, California? In this video, we'll do just that. Hi, my name is Rico Castillo. I'm a local real estate agent with Cold Banker here in the Folsom, California and the Sacramento metro area. And in this video, we'll talk about what it costs to live here in Folsom, California. And we'll talk about the housing, whether you're renting or buying. We'll talk about the average monthly utilities, groceries, healthcare, and then we'll compare that to the national average. And make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap that bell because I'm going to be doing a lot of videos about Folsom, California and the Sacramento metro area in general. We'll talk about what it's like to live here, best neighborhoods, schools, pretty much where to eat, drink, play, and be merry here in Folsom, California and the Sacramento area. And I'm going to continue doing it, so make sure again to subscribe and tap that bell so you get notified each time I upload a new video. I'm going to be your boots on the ground. So let's get started. We'll start with the elephant in the room, housing. Housing is the biggest contributor why the cost of living here in Folsom, California is so much more the, than the national average. If you look at this graph, and you'll see that the national average is around 231,000. Here in California, Folsom, California, you see that it's 550,000. It's actually, I think, higher than that, but it shows here that it is uh, 550,000, uh, more than double what the uh, national average is. And later on, I'm going to go over and show you in a map the different neighborhoods uh, here in the Folsom, Sacramento area. So you'll see that not all is, is, is high cost. There are some affordable neighborhoods and we'll go through that and I'll show it to you in the map later, later on in this video. Now we talked about housing in terms of buying a home. Now that we've talked about housing in terms of buying, let's take about let's talk about rent. Again, if you look at the national average and look at this graph, it shows that the average uh, rent here is about twenty-three hundred dollars a month, around twenty-three twenty. Um, of course, it's an average, so you'll have areas where it's going to be less and some going to be more. Uh, also. Uh, renting a condo or renting uh, an apartment is a lot less than actually renting a single family home. So keep that in mind. But the average is about 23 to 20. However, if you get into the four bedroom range, uh, you start to around 3,000, a little bit, a little 3,000, and it could be more, um, up to 3,500. I have a couple of uh, uh, rentals around my neighborhood that's renting around $3,500 a month. So now you bought a home or you, you're renting a home and you're now in a home. Now, how much would the average utilities be a month? Well, I pay about $110 a month for garbage, sewer, and water. And the good thing is the national average is actually more than what we pay here. We use SMUD instead of PG&E. SMUD pretty much is what you use if you live in the Sacramento area. Outside, maybe Placer or, or Yolo County and uh, El Dorado, uh, those are all PG&E. And they're a little bit higher than what we pay for SMUD. So again, national average, we're actually lower here. So again, the average for water, sewer, and garbage, uh, I pay about $110 a month. If you add electricity and gas to that, that's probably going to be about another 100. And of course, that depends on if you are um, you use it more during the summertime or in the wintertime. Because here in the Folsom, Sacramento area, there's always going to be two months during or two two weeks during uh, the summer. Maybe not all together, but a, a total of about two weeks that it's going to get over 100 degrees. So it gets hot here. Okay. Uh, and of course, the opposite is in the winter time. There's also going to be at least two weeks total where it's going to be freezing, and of course, that's going to contribute in terms of how much you use. But average monthly again for garbage, sewer, 
and uh, water, I pay about 110, and for uh, elect electricity and gas, probably another 100, 150, depending on, on the summertime, okay? What I do use, by the way, just to kind of help out a little bit, is I have a whole house fan in my house. And I'm not sure if you know how that works, but pretty much when it's cooler outside during the summertime, later in the evening, and it's still warm in the, in the house, you open a few doors and, and windows and turn on the whole house fan. And what it will do is it will suck in the uh, cool air from the outside, blow out the uh, hot air in the inside, and then you won't have to use your, um, your uh, AC. And of course, the opposite is true during the winter time because sometimes during the day it gets much hotter outside and it's still warm. I mean, it's still cool in the house. So you do the opposite. You turn on the whole house fan and bring that um, hot air in. And again, that way you don't have to use your your uh, heating as much. And that saves me a lot of money. So we've talked about housing, either buying or renting. We've talked about how much your monthly utilities are when you're in the house. Now let's talk about going to work. If you work locally, of course you can walk or you can bike um, or if you're on the other side, of, you, work on, you work on the other side of town, you can actually take the local bus system, the Folsom Stage Line. Uh, that kind of saves you a little bit of money there. But if you do work outside of uh, Folsom, uh, we have the light rail system that takes you all the way down to Sacramento and that's about $2.50 to Three twenty-five one way, depending on how far you go, and then if you're sixty-five or over, it's half that, and it's and a round trip is about seven dollars. And again, if you're sixty-two years old or over, did I say sixty-two years old uh, or over? Then that's again that's cut in half. Okay, but if you must drive, let's talk about the gas prices. Now I'm talking about the gas prices as of now, May twenty twenty, in the middle of. Uh, COVID-19 lockdown and currently our price here is uh, about $220 uh, in Costco which is where I go and we get the cheapest gas there but the local other um, gas stations is about 10 cents to 80 cents higher than that okay but right now currently is about $220 um, average though before the lockdown was around 320 to 380 and it goes up and down as you know all the time depending on what's happening um, again 320 to 380 has been the average so keep that in mind when you do have to drive and um, depending on what kind of car you have too that will also contribute to how much gas you uh, you have to buy so when you work you also have to play so when you come home um, at night or on the weekends time to go out and play meaning go to the restaurants and for a single person it's anywhere from $12 to $18 typically but of course if you add uh, a couple of drinks to that it could go up a little bit more uh, but for a couple uh, like when the boss and I my wife when we go out uh, it's typically around 40 to $50 so that includes maybe a dessert and a drink um, but if we were to go to a, a, a fancier restaurant, uh, anywhere from ninety to one hundred and twenty dollars would be pretty, pretty common. Um, that includes again desserts, appetizers, and drinks. Okay, but if you don't want to go out, you just want to go shop, get groceries, cook at home, which we do a lot too. Uh, the grocery cost is about the same as the national average. Um, but I do, I think I save a little bit more than the others uh, because I like to, I belong to Costco, I go there and I buy in bulk and I also go to Walmart a lot which I see I, there's really a, a, a difference between uh, going to Walmart and some of these other stores. So I go to Walmart, I go to grocery outlets, so I go there and the quality of food is good and that's where I save, I save money in terms of groceries. So consider that as well. We have a, a large Walmart here. Um, pretty busy all the time and they always have uh, good food or a good stock of, of uh, items to buy. Another thing to keep in mind too is as you probably already know of seen in TV that California is the highest tax state in the country. Um, anything you buy is about seven and a quarter percent but um, in terms of uh, overall taxes yeah we are pretty high here so keep that in mind um, moving here. 
So we talked about housing, whether buying or renting, how much it cost, your utilities cost us every month, and then what it costs for you to, to uh, go to work, transportation, as well as where to go when you go play, when you go out. Right, talk a little bit about taxes. Now let's talk about health. You have to have health care, okay, period. But surprisingly, health care here in Folsom, in the Sacramento area, is actually lower than the national average. Unbelievable. I love it. Depending on the, the program or the type of uh, uh, insurance that you have, either Kaiser or whatever, it could be more or less. Uh, so comment below, let me know how much yours is. But I pay, we pay about $200 a month for us. Okay, again, comment below, let me know how much yours is. And this is as of May 2020, and it could change at any time. Uh, there could be different programs due to the COVID-19. Programs could pop up any time, and uh, hopefully it's for the better. Now, again, housing is the biggest contributor to why cost of living here in Folsom, California is so much higher than the rest of the nation, okay? So now, let's take a look at this map and I can, so I can show you the different neighborhoods and the cost of housing in each of these neighborhoods. Okay, so let's take a look at this map and if you look down here at the bottom right, you'll see the overall cost of living in the U.S., which is about 100 right here and we are quite a bit north of that and you see that the darker spots are the also the more expensive homes uh, and it goes to the lighter home, or the lighter shades, where meaning they're not as expensive. Um, if you look here, this is the line that separates the counties. Uh, this line right here, and it goes down between Folsom and Eldorado Hills. This, these uh, areas right here, these are all um, uh, Sacramento County. This area here to the north uh, is Placer County. This area over here is uh, uh, Eldorado County. And if you notice that most of the homes uh, around here, uh, this is Folsom Lake, and the closer you are to the lake, the more expensive the homes. Um, and then there's water here that goes through here, American River, and if you notice again, Farrell and Carmichael hits that as well. But there are a lot of uh, affordable homes around here, if you notice. Um, there's some areas here that's not showing uh, around the pocket area that's comparable to uh, Folsom in terms and Eldorado Hills and some pricing because again you're close to the water um, but all these areas um, are all very affordable and uh, Elk Grove is nice uh, Vineyard is nice and they're all still affordable you're looking at anywhere from um, uh, the 450s all the way to the you know, 900s but it just depends on the size of the homes where in these other areas Rancho Cordova Citrus Heights, Antelope, there are some nice uh, good sized homes there uh, that you can get for around the 500 range where around here uh, you can get um, uh, three bedroom, two bath homes um, around you know 1800 to 2000 square feet uh, you can get them around the, the low 400s uh, or high 300s um, and of course the, the lighter shades uh, will be a lot less expensive um, and but in downtown, uh, even though they're the more expensive, but the walkability factor, as well as it being close to uh, the arena in downtown, um, they get a little more expensive as well. But these, there are so many pockets in the Sacramento uh, metro area, as well as Folsom, El Dorado Hills, and Granite Bay. There are pockets there as well. Um, and if you're interested, just call me and let me know. I'd be glad to uh, go over all these with you, the schools, the neighborhoods, walkability. Um, uh, that works uh, best for your situation, okay? And like I said earlier, I am a local real estate agent here in the Folsom, Sacramento area with Cobble Banker. And if you're thinking of moving or if your company is relocating you in that area, call me, reach out to me. Either text me or email me or even send Carrier Pigeon. I don't care, just reach out to me. I'd like to go over the plan, your plans with you go over the neighborhoods and so we'll get a we'll have a, a great game plan for you to make the move a lot easier for you and comment below if you agree or disagree uh, about some of the costs that we have here maybe yours is a little bit more or if you have any ideas in terms of how you save money one of the things that I forgot to mention is that in my house um, my home my home's a little bit older and I have about shoot I think I have about nine trees they're not large trees they're smaller trees around my house 
both in the front, back, and also the side yards. And I've kind of positioned them over time and kind of manipulated the branches to where they actually cover most of the hot spots in my area or in my home. So it saves me that way as well and it doesn't get as hot. So things like that. Let me know if you, if you want to comment below. Let me know how you save money. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. Maybe it's something that I can use or some of the audience here can use. Now I hope you really like this video because I'm going to be doing a lot more of these. Where I'm going to be your boots on the ground. I'll be walking on. I'll be walking the streets, pointing out the best neighborhoods, uh, pointing out where to, to play. You know the school system. I'll do all this. It's going to be some cool stuff. So don't forget to subscribe and tap that bell so you get notified each time I upload a video. And again, until next time, see you around town.